Hello, hello. Well, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I would do one now because this is going to be a it's going to be a special bowl for me because I made a friend uh, at the beginning of this month, and I just wanted to make this bowl for him and show him my appreciation. It was a deputy down in Lamar County, deputy sheriff, and so I thought I'd make him a bowl and also make this video so that he could see me making it. Just started with some pallet wood, milled it down. Uh, I was actually planning on having it uh, a little bit more different colors because I have oak and this pallet uh, of cedar that I thought was more red. It was just some four by fours off of a pallet and I don't know it didn't come out that different but uh, just a segmented bowl uh, just um, 16 piece rings I think I had six or seven rings uh, plus the base try and make a fruit bowl I went and presented uh, my friend this bowl and I really didn't get the full story and because and I didn't even have him uh, say anything it should have been more of an interview because I have no idea what this man was thinking getting out of his cruiser 95 degrees helping me pick up some lumber but what had happened was uh, I guess the people at this lumber mill did, they, don't, they don't really pack the lumber well or they don't tighten it down well However, they banned it because when I came around this corner, the lumber slid forward from the middle of the pack. And uh, when I made a turn, it just ripped through my straps and everything. One of the bunks came out. And this guy was so nice to stop uh, and help me pick up the lumber. He was like, oh, these, that mill should hire better people. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, he could, you know, I said, what? I'm not the first guy to do this. And he's like, no, you're not the first guy to do it right here. And I'm going, what? <laughs> and so it was just, I felt kind of, I mean, he got real personal with me and it was nice. Uh, and it was 95 degrees, probably 80% humidity. I was sweating my ass off and. This guy actually got out there and helped me out. And uh, obviously he didn't have to, but they were, what, 12 foot 2 by 6s is what they were. So it wasn't a light job. He helped me get out of there too because I was actually trying to get delivered about 70 miles away. But anyway, um, so I made the base and I made all these rings uh, every time... Uh, you know, I, I put a ring on these uh, jaws here, straighten out one face, get it nice and straight so that the gluing surface is solid. And I also uh, stagger the joints, as you can see uh, in, in all of my segmented bowls. I always stagger the joints so that we have a good, strong joint holding these bowls together and uh, see what else oh yeah so I only have two sets of Coles jaws I got those small ones and a big one and then I have several chucks but so I'm kind of starting from the top and the bottom at the same time uh, when I'm building this bowl so I use the jaws and the chuck to center the rings and um, as I'm turning so that, you know, they don't get all, you know, all funky when I'm, when it's spinning around, you try and keep them, keep everything spinning straight. But anyway, uh, yeah, I worked my way down. Uh, like I said, not a real big color difference between the oak and the, that other cedar, but you, the grain is different. You can tell that. But um, 
this is where I join the two sides, the top and the bottom, and then um, then the fun starts. It sometimes when I'm building a bowl, I've been I've done so many of them. I kind of have an idea on uh, what size it's going to be, and so I kind of just go at it. Uh, but um, this one came out to be a nice shape. It was really nice. And like I said, I had a design idea when I started. That's why I'm cutting this one, the oak ring in half here. Um, and f I'll flip the top over so that there'll be a oak ring sandwiching of the ring right there of uh, oak and cedar segments. So... If the color came out a little bit different, I think it would have been a really nice bowl. But it is what it is. It's a nice bowl anyway. Nice and heavy. And uh, the walls were able to be fairly thick, about maybe a quarter inch thick, three eighths, something like that. And uh, like I said, the shape was really nice. I, I thought the shape came out nice. Um, you want to, I always get a rough shape on the outside and then get the inside done um, and then go back to the outside and finish it up. Here you see me cutting with my carbide cutter, the round tip. I cut the mortises like I cut the mortise in for the chuck with the square cutter. And then um, after I get the shapes going I smooth it out with the scraper like you see here and then comes the sanding <laughs> everybody's favorite part actually it's nobody's favorite part but it has to be done this is everybody's favorite part when you put the wax on or whatever finish you're going with I, I use all natural uh, things the glue is food safe and I use beeswax to um, finish my bowls and everything pretty much uh, so that's all food food safe but anyway like I said I made this for Deputy Henson and I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you sir okay, ready okay Everybody, I just wanted to uh, tell you the story behind this bowl that I made. Uh, about two weeks ago, what's, what's the date? The 20th? 20th. 20th of October, or August. So a couple of weeks ago, I was coming through Blytheville, picked up a load of lumber, and uh, I was coming out of the mill a couple miles down the road, and the lumber slid forward. When I made my turn, it came off my truck, and... I was just in a panic. It was 95 degrees or something outside. Well, Deputy Henson here shows up and that even sent me into more of a panic because I didn't have my hazards on. I didn't have my triangles out and I'm thinking, oh no, now I'm going to get a ticket. <laughs> well, this, this gentleman stepped out of his cruiser, looked at me and said, you know what, they should make, they should hire better people at that mill. He took off his vest and his belt and he started helping me stack the lumber back up. So I took a pallet and made this bowl for him, the one that you just saw me make. And uh, Wayman, thank you very much, man. Thank you. you know, you uh, with all the bad news going around about the guys in uniform, uh, my brother-in-law, Philip, you guys know, is a, a marshal himself. And... Uh, my my brother-in-law, this man here, is proof that uh, you know we're just normal people, just doing our jobs. So again, thank you very much. You're one of the good ones, buddy. Appreciate. It.